hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new to this channel please click on the subscription button and also don't forget to click on the notification bell so when i post new videos you'll be the first to get notified today we are going to be drafting the half scale basic block so let's get started okay this is the top line. I came down two inches from the head of my paper to get the top line. This is where all the measurements will be taken from. And also I drew another line. This line will serve as a guideline for me when taking my uh, boss measurements. So the fullest part, because we are drafting an upscale body pattern, what we need is the half length of your body so the half length of my body here is 17 so i'm going to measure 17 from this top line i mark 17 i will do the same again so i mark 17 I'll take my ruler and I'll roll across. So, the next thing we are going to do is dividing the fullest parts, the fullest measurements. The fullest measurement between the waist and the boss is the boss. So my boss is 38. Half of 38 will be half of 38 will be 19. So from that line that I drew earlier on, I'm going to mark 19. So like so, marking 19. And I'm coming back to mark down here to mark. 19 so this is half of our boss measurements so you divide this part into two again so 19 divided by 2 will give us 9 and half. So from this point, you mark 9 and half, 9 and half. So this part will serve as our back. And this part is have our fonts. So this is the center font of our pattern. And this is the center back of our pattern. So you remember our back measurement is 15. So from the waistline, this is the waistline. You place your the here and go up by the amount of the back waist measurement which is 15 you do what you will have cost like so We have, um, this is going to be our shoulder line from the back so you mark three inches that's the next week that I'm using the neck width that I'm using is three inches from that neck width you go up one inch and mark and move that again one inch So 
so I'm going to use my French cuff to connect this lines together. Then hit your own back neck curve. What you do next from this shoulder line, you move down by what one inches like you have done before, then you do join the lines, connect the lines. My back shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. We have used 3 inches here, so we are left toward 5 inches. I'm going to mark 5 inches. You place that your tape at the tip of that 1 inch. Then you mark 5 inch on this line and you do what you connect to your neck point can you see that next thing we are going to look for the bust line the bust line is your back waist measurement Divided by 2 minus 1 inch. So, my backwards measurement is 15. Divided by 2, we give me 7 and half. 7 and half minus 1 inch, we give me 6 and half. So, from the waistline, I'm moving up by 6 and half. I'm taking this across to the front bodies so I connect the lines with my ruler this is your boss line So I measure from this neck shoulder line and the bust line. This eight and a half. Divide eight and a half into two. It will give you four and a half. From the bust, four and quarter. From the bust line, you move up four and quarter. This will give you the across back measurement. Let me check if this measurement is correct. Okay, it's correct. So let me check this one as well. Four and quarter. It's correct. So you join the lines. Now, what you are going to do at this point, you are going to insert your across back measurements on this line across back my across back measurements here is 15.5 15.5 divided by 2 is 15 and a half so i divide it by 2 they give me 7 and 7 5 so on this line i'm putting my cost back measurement, which is seven and seven five. I will extend that measurement down to the bust line. Can you see what we have now? 
Next thing I'm going to draw my shoulder, my ample curve. So from this, from the shoulder line, shoulder point, I'm using my French curve to get the curve. So these are curve for the back. And from the for on the waistline, we are going to take our waist measurements. Our waist measurement is 33, then 2 divided by 4 is 8 and quarter. 8 and quarter plus 1 inch for that. That is half half inch on both sides, which is 9 and quarter. So on the back waistline, we are going to mark 9 and quarter. Then you connect the first line to the waistline like so. Now, to get where to put your darts, if your nipple to nipple point is, if my boss that half of my boss, um, nipple to nipple point is seven and seven, and I divide it by two, which will give me three and a half, you have add one inch to the thing and a half, which will give you. Four and half. Four and half. Remember, we added one inch to the waist measurement, so we are going to remove it on both sides. That is our dart again. Then what we do, we connect it to the dart line on the first point. Like so, we are through with our back pattern. So let's move to the front pattern. Remember our back waistline is 15, while our front waistline is 17. What we are going to do now, the difference between the back and front waistline, we are going to add it here. So, 17 minus 15 will give us 2 inches. So, on the bust line, you move up by 2 inches. Be your underarm front underarm line. From that front underarm line, you also move up by another two inches, which is called stance. And this will be our across chest. So this is our across chest line. On the across chest line, this is our across chest line. So let's move to the um, chest on the shoulder line. Your shoulder line, you mark thinking like we did for the back. You mark 3 as the neck width and 3.5 has the neck depth. Extend this line a little bit. Then use your arm, your arm curve to get your neck curve. So after getting your neck width and depth, the next thing we are going to do is to get your shoulder line. Your shoulder line, to get your shoulder line, you make sure what you have here, we have 5 inches. 
five inches you come down from the top line by one and a half inch you will a line Pull the line then from your should neck point this is your neck point you slant it to get five inch on that extended line on your across chest line after that you connect that you connect your shoulder lines to neck point. Next thing you do is on the across chest. Our across chest is 14. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Fourteen divided by two is seven. So you extend this line to the underarm line, and you connect this line to the shoulder point. In the midpoint from the shoulder point to the across chest. Here we are having five. Then you mark two and half. On this line, you move in by. Three eighths of an inch or half an inch, but I'm going to do three eighths of an inch. Then you mark this. All you have to do is to connect this point to the underarm and back to your shoulder tip. Now you have your ample curve for the front line and that of the back line. The next thing you have to do is to find your bust point. My bust point is 10 and half. From the top line, you mark 10 and half. Can you see? My own 10 and half is on the bust line. So what I have to do now is to mark my nipple to nipple point, which is 7. You divide it by two to give you three and a half. You take the same reading on the waistline and join the marks with a straight line. And remember, we use half inches, one inches for that. You do the same on this on the front part as well. Your, our that is going to be one inch. That is half half inches on both sides. So I'm going to take half inches on both line, both side of the that line, and connect to the boss points. My waist is 33, 33 divided by 4 is 8 and 2 and quarter plus half inches is going to be 9 and plus 1 inches for that is going to be 9 and quarter. Then I connect the waistline to the bust line to the underarm line. Not on the bust line to the underarm line. Like so. Can you see? Now, what we want to do is to get the boss that. Remember that the difference between the back waistline and the front full back measure, back waist measurement and front measurement is two inches. From the boss line, you move down two inches. And you come here from the bust point, one inch. So you connect your line. So this is our bust that. 
So when you fold in these balls that the two sides will match. Do you understand? When you fold in these balls that the two sides will match because on the pattern it's looking as if the two of them did not match. And it's because of the difference between the two, the back, the full back measurement and the front, full front length measurement. That is the back half length and the front half length. You know it as the back half length and the front half length. The distance between the back half length and the front half length is two inches. So that is why it's looking as if they did not match. Once you fold in your bust that, the two sides will match. I hope this tutorial is helpful. So, your suggestion and contributions are welcome. And if you want me to teach you how to take the body's measurement, please don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section I'll be reading. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.